Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. Today I want to talk about my experience with Henry's customer service. So recently I bought a Henry X model in 360 Buckhammer and I said in some of my videos that I was having a few problems with it and that I was going to send it off for a warranty claim. Now the two problems that I had were that the sights were not centered um, the, like the barrel was kind of twisted. It wasn't installed properly. So therefore the sights were canted a little to the right. And then the other problem was that the lever, um, if you didn't work it with authority, it would bind up and not lock back into place unless you really, uh, unless you really pushed it back into place. So, um, both of those things, uh, to my understanding are not typical of Henry's quality or any other gun's quality for that matter. So I uh, sent it off, I filed a warranty claim on their website, um, <clears throat> filled out all the, the forms and everything, and I waited for them to send me a shipping label. And um, it actually, you know, after a week of not getting any emails about it, um, I sent in a message and they said that they re sent me the shipping label, um, but I looked like in my spam folder and my trash, everything, I could not find where they supposedly originally sent me a shipping label, but basically it took me a week to get a shipping label, um, even though they claimed that they had sent it before. But anyway, so I, I got the shipping label, I shipped it off, and not even a whole two days later, I got a notification you know, once they, once they received it, you know, I got a notification that they received it, but then not even two days later, I got a notification saying that it was already being shipped back. So in my opinion, that's pretty, pretty good turnaround time. Um, you know, what, like a day and a half of them having it and they're already boxing it up and shipping it back. So that's pretty good. And then it took another couple of days to, you know, to ship back to me. And then so, I got it and it was in a, a cardboard box. I took it out. I took took all the paperwork out that shows my name on it, but I want to just read off here what it says that they did. So it says they replaced the hammer, which I had no idea that the hammer was damaged or or not in spec. But anyway, they replaced the hammer, smoothed and polished the inside receiver. Adjusted lockup, test fired five rounds, checked overall firearm. Um, so that's what it says they did. It does not say anything about the barrel. And that kind of concerned me. So, you know, I took it out of the box and they were nice enough to give me this, you know, nice little sock or, you know, whatever you call this. This is typically to keep the, uh, the brass finish on their, like, uh, golden boys and big boys and things like that to keep the brass finish from getting scratched. So you really don't need it on this gun, but it was kind of nice that they shipped it off like that. Let me just slide that guy off. And that's what it looks like. So, you know, they sent it back in that and it had, you know, some tags on it um, saying check for ammunition, blah, blah, blah. Um, so anyway, let's check for the function. So uh, if you remember, if I worked the lever really slow like this, it would hang up and it's not doing that. It is definitely locking back in place with minimal effort, <clears throat> which is how it should be. So as far as that goes, it looks pretty good. Let's check the sights. So, I don't know how well you can tell, but let me move this little thing out of the way. Um, it looks like the sights are definitely more in line with what they should be. Before, they were canted to the right and they were crooked because the barrel was turned. So, I guess part of um, checking the, the lockup and everything was turning the barrel slightly. I don't really know how all that works. Um, you know, how they actually get the barrel into place, but 
To me, it looks like the sides are definitely fixed. The lever is definitely fixed, so I'm definitely satisfied with that. Um, my only complaint is I didn't get the shipping label. Um, it you know took them a week to get me the shipping label, and they claim that they sent it once before, but you know that's not a huge deal. I mean, what two weeks total um, from the time I submitted my claim to the time I got my gun back from them? That's really not that bad, um, and that's pretty much in line with like. The only other time I ever had to send a gun back, I think, was with Ruger, and I think, you know, that took, like, around two weeks as well. So, I mean, that that's pretty good, in my opinion. They also sent, and you know, I sent it back in the box, and they also sent some, uh, I guess these are catalogs. Um, they got a couple different ones in here, so that's kind of cool. You can look through those one of these days. Um, I'm sure it's got all their different models in there. And they also sent a thank you note. That just basically reads, thank you very much for owning Henry and for your extended patience. We certainly appreciate it and expect that you will find everything satisfactory. So, you know, that's kind of nice. You know, they tell you what they did. They give you a thank you note, give you these catalogs, give you the, uh, little black sock, and of course the gun, in my opinion, is fixed. It said that they test fired five rounds. Um, now I have no idea what the accuracy is going to be like with this gun, because I've never fired it yet, but I'm hoping the accuracy is going to be just fine, because I know a lot of people have problems with new production Henrys where it's like they can't hit the broad side of a barn with it, and not just 360 buck hammers, but uh, 3030s and you know the 357s, 4570s, all those guns. I mean, I'm sure you know so many guns probably have a defect in the the rifling or the barrel, or or they have a problem with the muzzle or something, which causes the bullets to not hit uh, at the point of aim every time or something. I don't know, but I've seen a lot of people say that they have ac accuracy issues with their new production rifles, but that they send them back and that everything is just fine. So we will find out. Um, I I might take this out and shoot it with a couple different ammos and just see how accurate it is just with the iron sights. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, but other than that, I'm... Uh, so far, I'm satisfied with Henry's customer service and what they've done for me and how quickly they were able to get the gun back to me. So um, I would definitely give Henry an A+. Um, sure, you know, the shipping label thing, but, uh, you know, sometimes emails just get lost. Um, I send emails all the time at work, and sometimes they just don't go through. So um, that's really all I have to say about that. But other than that, I am definitely satisfied, and I cannot wait to get this rifle out and test fire it. Hey, before I go, I just thought I'd remind everybody that I do have a second channel called Redneck Off the Range. Over there, I post most of my non-gun related content, so whether it's a video on my new tractor, my power tools, my projects that I'm working on, maybe wild game recipes, or just a random vlog, I post all of this kind of content over on my secondary channel. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go check it out, Redneck Off the Range. But that's all for this video, so subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.